I want to see Red rip a line and just go skating <laughs> around the map. You want to see him rip a line, do you? Round begins <laughs> I said what I said. Ah, <laughs> oh, I just changed him. What? My bad. There we go. Whoops. Um, and this is my favorite railgun in the game now. It's got the rust crossbow. That is so awesome. Like, my crossbow in rust is so good. Anyway, I'll stop yapping. <laughs> Pretty standard start for both players. Yeah, it looks like um... And this oh, is the first time shots. I've seen the spring update on the map. Yeah, the, the first time I saw broken. it, I thought my game was broken. Um, some nice shots from Red there. Oh, are lucky, yeah, sorry. Some, finding some really, really good angles on him. Yeah, good. Uh, Red could not take another round there. It was over. <clears throat> this is good. He just wants to, you know, protect himself. Grab this light. You know, are lucky he's got control here. This is, like, this is great. <gasps> he's got 75 health up here. He can use... Oh, nice dodge of the tri -ball. Oh, I don't know about dropping down here. It's even stacks. See, if he was just, yeah. Uh, oh, great peek though. But now he can't get across. Oh, he peeks it. See, that was really 50-50 there. Oh, like he's definitely gonna be raging about that. I know I would. Um, he made Redoxide earn that frag though. That was not yeah. clean in any sense. Did he get across? Yeah, you are right, but he's actually restacked really well. Um, Red is up. I like he's going to charge in. Oh, he's, he's like knocked him off his rocket jump. And now I like he's one shot. Yeah, uh, you know, Redoxide needs to be charging in here. This is a kill, if I've ever seen it. I think he shouldn't even take that light. He needs to just push in. Uh, and now he's just pushed in. He's been destroyed. Mega's up, and now he's got nothing. Oh. We should point out to Robbie's messed up the product predictions because it's not Lure or a Dander King. <laughs> so, but yeah, this it's, is it's really, really good start. Nice, Raoul. Going for the kill. He's just used Tribal. Oh, LG there, Red. Nice. So, Mage good. Make it up with his accuracy. Yeah, but the, the problem is, is that oh, great rockets from RL Lucky there. Lovely. Is that eventually the weapon choice will cost you in a terrible time? So red pushing in, rocket jumps up. Great push from red. So nice. Yeah. <laughs> that a midi? I'm not. Sh I don't think it's so. I, I think it was a. I think he hit the wall or something next to him. Nice defense of this rail here. Oh, beautiful LG costs him dearly to get the rail. Yeah. Like, he doesn't he, he have much restack opportunity here either. Nice, very nice peeker here. Un unluckily, so our lucky is actually, this is a great push, great shot. So our lucky is playing very aggressive here. Um, oh, couple missed rails there. I think red should just take T here because now our lucky is going to come up to T and this is not good. Because now Aralaki can, can actually deal some good damage on this Mega decides against it. Yeah, it's good to see Redoxide also keeping the pressure on. Like, being three frags up four minutes in might be tempting to ease off a little bit, but he's, yeah. he's not. He's keeping that pressure going. You need Exactly. You need to keep playing how you're playing. Nice rail from Aralaki here. He wants to defend it. Oh, what a rocket. Lovely. Uh, uh, uh. Nice LG. I think we uh, you, Red should just be using LG a bit more here um, to punish our lucky. He gets the job done. Great rocket to Rao from our lucky. But he, oh, he must have been you know 91 or something. But... Nice. He's got the strong thing here. 
And there's 25, so he's actually... Oh, he decides against getting it. I think he was quick there. He definitely could have. Mega's up in five seconds. Oh. Yeah, I think he had an unforced movement error there. Oh, he's railable crossing. He can look and Yeah. Great rocket from Lucky. Oh, what a row. Oh, he's coming behind him. And I like yeah, he's back, it. but oh. So now, you know, four frag deficit. It's really not that much on this map. Great, off the map. Oh, great pin there. So I like he wants to keep this pressure on. If he could hit a rail, that'd be yeah, lovely. Very turn this is fine. Just want to defend your rail here, defend T. I think he's let him walk up to rail there. Um, for free is kind of a mistake, especially when you got Megara. Oh, he's caught him here. He's got more. Great LG. You come looking for a fight? Great frag. He's quite healthy after. Maybe a bit of Brave pressure you. on this rocket yeah. launcher spawn here. Fine. Looks like he's going to drop for red. Stop watch. Nice LG. Decent peeker, but I I think he. It wasn't in the right position to sort of drop there. Great rocket. No. Ooh, great rocket. Great and double hundreds. Double hundreds. And he's tied it up here. So, you know, Red should... He shouldn't tilt at all. You know, it's just evens, right? Um, it's like the game is resetting. You just play... Your ABC is out of control here. What a shot from our lucky there. Yeah, four, four minutes... Well, three and a half minutes Great left rocket. on the clock here. Oh, I think he should just... I think the weapon choice from both of these players could just be a little bit better sometimes. And it's it's kind of costing them some, like, free damage, essentially. Nice push. This is a great kill, actually. And Red, I think, delayed his spawn there. He was actually going to spawn a rail. But now, I like he can get Red here. Jump straight away, hit a rail. That's fine. And now he can position Bell for Mega. This is really well played. And Red's pushing Catch up the jump pad. Head, head, head. Beautiful. Go, you sons of bitches. Now he's got this T up. Oh, he just misses that. That's fine. This is great. Great pressure from our lucky here. Oh. Uh, honestly, a bit passive there. I think Red charging in like that is, you know, great rocket. Just did a drive by. Yeah. <laughs> oh, can he catch him? Oh, no. No, I think it's it's a bit uh, a bit risky fighting way before Mega like this because now he can't just back off to it and it's anyone's game. He's lucky both players miss, but that was a really poor f timing of the fight there for Mario Lucky, and he's lucky to get away with it. But now, yeah, again, Mario Lucky sort of playing a bit too defensive here. He's he does hit some very nice defensive rockets. Are you even trying? Yeah, but I mean, at the same time, if Red's going to keep coming to him like this, he doesn't need to keep the pressure on the part as he did oh, at the start. Oh, and he's just thrown that away. He had an armor up right behind him, but instead he backs off across and has to, as a result, walk in a straight line. So now, the Red, you know, a minute and a half left, this is easily winnable. He's just seen him. If he can grab Rail here and grab Red, this is looking really good. He's got Pika. He's got the sack advantage. He'll make it up in five seconds. Just needs to recognize how, much, how long's left on the clock and how much time he has to work with. Yeah, I, that was a great Pika there, I think. Force him out. A minute 15. You are right. Great rocket. Chase One more in the corner. Beautiful rockets. My reward will be great. He didn't pick up the Stroyland, did he? Yeah, he's never been, he hasn't been picking it up all game. One minute warning. So this is great. He's got 10 seconds till red. He's got to be careful of a little trap from our lucky. I actually kind of like this route that he's taken. Oh. Unless you do that. Yeah, but I, but at the same I think time, lucky doesn't need to fight for, he doesn't need to fight for the mega. Oh, All he has to what, do a, is... what a play from red, oh. but he's absolutely whiffed it. One more. Oh. Yep. One frag in at 30 seconds. He grabbed it again! <laughs> he didn't grab the thing again. Wait, did he? How much? I don't no, even know he anymore. Didn't. 
It's 25 H, uh, not 25, but still, it's more HP than yeah. what he had there. This is fine. Grab red and you gotta go. Can't be riled. Yeah, I don't. Seconds. Oh, this is fine. 10. 10 sec. Great play from Mara Lucky. Like he's not going to make a mistake twice. Oh, wow. Oh. What, what a game this was. That was tight. I think if both players just some, you know, a few mistakes that could be fixed and they, it, the victory either side would have been more decisive, I think. The, um, it, 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 it seemed like a lot of the mistakes were stress mistakes, though. It doesn't, not necessarily mistakes that were... <sighs> What's the what's the words I'm looking for here, Donna? Uh, no, no, that's like, hope. The... Because everyone is stressed, <laughs> so that's yeah. Fine. But I mean, it, it it seems like it was it was decisions being made or movement errors being made that was coming from a stressful reaction, like nah. outside of the norm. Movement errors, I can see. You know, it, it happens, and maybe some aim errors, but positioning errors aren't obviously. Yeah. Fundamentally, how you play, um, like that, those things that happen consistently over the course of a game aren't just you know. Uh, I'm a bit nervous. And those are the things I'm talking about. Obviously, you know, when you play tourney. Two um, people in the chat just got eight point one k. Am I blind? Oh, they haven't. Oh, I am blind. Okay. Molten. Both Molten Falls. Okay. What are you thinking with this one, mate? Oh, this is going to be interesting epic, choices. Eh? This is going to be epic. We have Slash versus Nyx. Now, Slash on this map can be deadly. Um, very deadly. Um, she's just so quick around this map, similar to Bloodkov. Now the thing is though, Nyx is Nyx and she's deadly anywhere. So I I like he plays Nyx a little bit, but I know Red Slash is quite good, at least his movement. So it's a strong slash, yeah. Yeah. I think let's kick it off with Red today on this map. Um and we actually have the same slash skin. He's definitely copied me. That's copycat. <laughs> Now, prepare to fight. Blue. Let's start on red here. Round okay. begins in three, <laughs> Apparently, I can't be here. Anyways, fight. Um, yeah, pretty standard. Uh, yeah. Well, let's be honest, we wouldn't expect anything but a vanilla start from both players. Oh, great two rails. Invis has actually popped. Oh, and he chooses the wrong way. But this is great pressure from Red here. He's still available. Oh, he's just missed it. One more. Great shot. Wow, what a start from Red. And he's, he's, he's found him. I think, again, he knows that Stopwatch. Like, again, right there, just a little weapon selection mistake. He should know that Nyx is coming out there. That TP there needs to have a rail out. But it's okay. Great start. Relatively even stacks. Slight advantage for red. And now there's a little gap between the items, but on molten five seconds. Great catch from Ara Lucky here. But he's fallen to the low ground. Now this arm is not up. It's actually up after the mega here. Stop Looks like the yeah the the mega and the heavy are now on essentially the same time. Oh, arm, great shot from red. More. And he's actually he's oh he's fallen. Was that a deliberate fall? I'm not. I'm not sure actually, because now Lucky's going to be able to grab that other armor, which is which was up a little bit after mega he just does yeah. and now this is the issue if it wasn't 
If it wasn't a deliberate fall, it was a fantastic recovery. Yeah. I think that is um, the one thing about Molten is that you can you can sort of um, run quite easily. Especially in Slash. I mean, look at his movement here. Look how fast he is. He's saying this should be more of a lure pick. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of a risky fight here. Oh, he catches him running away. That was a lovely clean rail. So this is actually really good from Red here because he can put a little delay on the Red. He decides not to. Still, seven seconds. And now he's... If, oh, he would have loved to hit that. So I think... The thing is, we've seen Red push this LG, like, quite a few times now. I wonder if Ara Lucky sort of, you know, um, you figured that out. Yeah, pre-aiming or pre-spamming it. I think you can catch a Slash with LG really easily, and it's deadly. That is sort of what Ara Lucky would be doing against a Slash like this, who's really fast. Yeah. See, like, sometimes Red's when you miss a rail, and the Invis up, Invis comes out straight away. Great escape. Great rocket. Oh, it just misses. Like, look how fast Red is. What a shot! Oh my god. Sitting on this Mega. Now, five seconds to get a Red, and like, with this speed, look at this. He's, he's easily there. Easy. Like he's got a rail waiting for him, though, but... It was before the Red. Quick. Yeah. No, I think it's fine by our lucky, like... Um, yeah. I wasn't two. saying it was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, you know, like, good play. Great route from, from our lucky there. Another great route. Oh, three rails. Just like that. Stop watch. And One, two, good damage of spawn. I mean, lucky came out of that looking Ooh. pretty good. Lovely rocket. Wow. Well. Someone clipped that. Nice play from our lucky to grab that armor before the red. And now, this is where Ara like he wants to be applying the pressure against the slash with no stack. Oh, push him! Oh. See, that is just another think, mistake there. I think that is a free kill. You have invis as yeah, well. I mean, Red ha Red had no stack. Lucky had everything he needed to turn that into something, and he just acted like Red was a respawn. Oh, again. Yeah, gets the frag, but I think it could have been played a little better there with the rock. Oh, great. This is really good for our lucky. I'm not even sure how he died either there, I'll be honest. Like a lot of LG damage. Oh. Did so, Lucky just run out of all the ammo again, did he? Nah, I think he ran out of... Um, Oh, Invis comes out. Nice push from Red. Both railable Rail here. Back. So now the thing is, Red has armor and can get across to the 225, sorry. Oh, Ara Lucky was actually railable there. Oh, and he's been. That's not good. I, I, maybe he didn't hear him. Like, he lost the sound cue of the. Um, the uh, teleporter there. But either way, um, red, red wants to start grabbing this red. What the hell is that machine gun? Holy shit. This is a great play I for love Red. Your reaction to some of these skins, mate. <laughs> nice push from Red there. Get, now, this is where he really needs to attack. Use that speed, and he's, he might caught it. He will catch him here. Oh. Does he not hear him? What? No. Hello? Both, pl both players just completely missing the oh, sound. Oh, and he goes up way too late and it's a free kill. Oh my goodness me. And now we're one frag in it and it's definitely game back on. Yeah, I mean, this is a great push from Reddy. Before, like even though Mega, oh, I don't think you should push too far here. Because now, yeah, this is the issue, it's like, you're pushing into a rail fight. 
when you've got all the other weapons. I accept that you can't push anymore when Ara Lucky hits that first round and just go get Mega. Now he's lost a frag. He does spawn on Mega, but it's like he's lost all his weapons. And Ara Lucky's hit another great rail there. We see him with a tilt coming out. Both available. Who will hit it? No one. Oh. Oh my god, the red saves him. Oh my god, it's insane. Did, did Lucky hear the slide? He's got to have heard the slide. Yeah, he would have. Oh, and Grey Rock, uh, I mean, Red just pushing into a, a room. Wow, this. Oh, it's a nail gun, not a machine gun. It was almost gun. like a bit of a tilt reaction, it was then. Definitely, definitely, definitely tilt reaction. It almost gets flung off the map. I thought this was going to be a challenge. Now, this is like. Red's just going to chill out, you know. Plenty of time left. Oh, as I say that, he rushes in. And I think this is one of the. It's the double edged sword with lights, right? It's really yeah. fun when you've got control, but <laughs> out of control, it's just. It, it's a it's a repeat of what we saw with the Dan versus Lua match just previous, mm. where we had light versus light. Um, being out of control, it's just so hard to get yourself back in. And the fights that you're going to have that net you those kills are never going to be clean, so you're always going to suffer from needing to restack after you get a kill. It's definitely winnable so here from Red Oxide. It's winnable, but he, he's definitely got the harder job of it. All Lucky has to do is run away for a minute and a half, whilst Red's got to keep the pressure on and keep himself healthy. Especially with Ghost Walk up soon. Again, I mean... He has found him, and he's running around with Rail out. He forces the invis. Ara Lucky's one shot. He needs to frag here. Oh, I think he need he needed to leave this mega and just go get a kill. He couldn't yeah, go for that mega the, there. Get the frag. Uh, use the mega to replenish your health. Yeah, if Ara Lucky gets the mega, then you don't. Well played. But you, now it's just GGs and you can't even win. Again, a little mistake there. It, uh, even though it was quite late, it was just you know. Yeah, just cost him. And that's GG's for map, map 2. Yeah. So if my prediction's gonna hold any water now, Redoxide's gotta win the next three maps. Hmm. What is this? But yeah, coming up next, we're gonna be having... Corrupted Keep with Redoxide on Death Knight and Lucky on Aizen. Pretty standard matchup, actually, again. Sort of, yeah. um, no, not matchup. tier one champs, yeah, but safe tier two champs for Corrupted Keep. Yeah, safe for, th safe for the third round in a best of five. Mm. Not, not the zany picks that you see for map five. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, Red is a known tilter. I think he's just gonna... Just forget about these maps, essentially. Yeah. Forget I'll be about a second, them. mate. I've got to get some water. Yeah, that's fine. So we've got CK coming up. Um, yeah, DK Eisen, pretty standard matchup for a, you know, a third map in a series. Probably prefer uh, maybe the Eisen, I guess. I'm not... I think Aizen's a little bit better now um, than DK, but relatively even matchup. Both champs quite good on this map. Um, you can really use the turret effectively to defend, you know, something like LG or 
you know, I don't know, red armor or something. And then fire strike. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Great. It's going to be interesting to see how the, um, how lucky goes with the Eisen placement because, yeah, it's definitely going to be a case of are you using it for damage or are you using it for info? And I'd okay. argue that on this map, <laughs> on this map, you don't really need to know well, info as much. You always know where your opponent is. Yeah. Fight. I think a bit of both, really. Um, I was going to start on Red here because he needs to win this map. Um, and Lucky actually opting to grab that light before Red. A little bit of a unique start. Tyrant comes out and Red Oxide is very aggressive here. He knows Lucky doesn't have LG. And he's great damage. He's pinned him. 200 on. Oh, R like he's very low here. Great weapon selection. No, nah, well, that was actually quite well played from our lucky towards the end, but you know, he was just too low at that point already. But again, yeah, but having there... said that, sorry, you go. I was gonna say, having said that, this is something that we've seen the last two maps. We've seen strong starts from Redoxide, where that is true. After a... After a couple of minutes, we're like, oh, he's got this one in the bag, obviously, and then we've seen what's happened two maps in a row. Mm. Just as you say that, some great defensive rockets from Aralaki. I think, I mean, he, Redoxide would have known Aralaki spawn on the red there, so it was essentially even stacks. And again, it will be even stacks again. Redoxide is very aggressive here, grabbing shoddy. Drive by a shotgun on corrupted key. <laughs> oh, did Ara Lucky not hear him? He must have like misheard him there. I think no. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, what a rocket from Red! I think some very poor defensive rockets from Ara Lucky there. Um, just, uh, I mean, right, uh, Red's just charging in there. Oh, look at this LG. Wow. Doesn't want to get caught out the same way. Nice spam from Red in case Lucky tried to pull the same sneaky maneuver. He's caught him off spawn again. Nice LG damage. He's, oh, great nail spam, actually. Where did that rocket go? We will never know. And this is, I like this from Red. Get, let's get this mega. Oh, no. Don't go through the TP. Where are these? Rockets going. Oh no, and now he's given up red. No. Oh, are a lucky. No. Oh, that is just a oh, misplay after misplay from both players, but Redoxide coming out on top. That was just both players feeling the pressure from each other after the Great LG from Red there. Yeah, but he's not coming out of the fight smelling like roses. I mean, exactly. If anything, Lucky's going to be in the stronger position here, outside of actual position itself. So, beautiful, beautiful dodging from our Lucky there. And Red, it, it, even though he might get the red here, it's he is pretty low. And I, I don't like he's paid looking for. See, that is quite a bit risky there because if he took it. You know, 50 damage MG, he's 10 HP with red because he's just taking the health bubbles. Yeah, and all, all it needed was for Lucky to also have his MG out and thinking the same thing. Oh, the That's rockets a lovely from Lucky. Rocket. Yeah. Beautiful. So now there's actually eight seconds before red, but I, I don't think R Lucky actually knows that. Oh. The alien now got to come out and clutch there. too much at the moment. Yeah. He's playing the opposite of Lua right now. Some good spam. I was going to say, Redoxide's definitely playing the play style on Corrupted Keep of uh, Jump on the Bastard. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's... Uh, uh, it's like fine on this map, and you oh, also yeah, need definitely. to give up some frags to, to um, you know, get back in sometimes. It's definitely a, a viable method. And I think maybe it's so good after two, when you're two maps down, you know, you just you need to keep playing your game. A lot of people might, you know, turtle up, for example. As I say that, nice little shoddy push there. 
but he is quite low after and the alien nail gun is coming out from red some great defensive rockets lovely rockets there yeah though you know the, the nail gun does so much damage and red it looks like our lucky will just pick up this red here 10 seconds till Mega. Slight stack advantage for our Lucky, and that stack advantage is pretty much gone now after a little tickle of MG. Now Red, Mega's up in two but seconds. That's the thing. Red's doing such a good job keeping that tickle damage coming out, he is. Yeah. And that, on this map, it adds up. Oh my god. Great MG from it um, our Lucky. It definitely adds up when you hit all of that MG, mate. Stopwatch. Maybe you're right, that's what you know. We, Red started this game hot, and you know, he's now only one frag. Five ahead. minutes in, it's changed. It's changed. It's exactly what we saw the last two minutes. Oh. Great rockets, though, from Red, Again. and he'll want to attack this Red hard. And he is. So, the someone alien look at coming out. The VOD, I, I swear, the first map, the first map it evened up at the five and a half minute mark, the second map was the same. Oh, great, like, defensive rockets from our lucky, but, you know, Red just had too much staff. And our lucky will grab the Mega off spawn. Some missed rockets from Red there. Oh, just, just peeking when he had that arm that he could have just left. Again, look, Red's just spawning on, on the red here. Mega's up in 10. Let's see who he's going to pressure it. Like, I like it. We'll just pick up the, the Mega for free. The fight comes out, though, over the, uh, the gargoyle. So much damage coming out from Lucky. But, yeah, I, I mean, a little bit, but it's, it's like, oh, oh. Okay, I take that. How's that a little bit? Mate? How's that a little bit? <laughs> but I think, I feel like that was uh, red kind of, that was just free damage there. He was just jumping in the air when he had red. So, and he's still yeah, one HP had with full armor. Like he's lucky literally had. one HP now. Oh, no. <laughs> And Lucky takes the lead. That little tickle of LP. And if, the, if this is going to follow the same pattern of the last two maps that we've seen, Lucky's going to get another two frags now, give himself a free frag lead, and Redoxide is going to have no answer. Lovely rocket. There he goes. And he just grabs a Mega straight after. And I think it's far from over yet. That, that's what Brand needs to realize. Like, it's two frags on Corrupted Keep. Um, but I don't know if running in with Nail Gun to Rockets is the play. No, I like he's a bit low here. Oh, he's coming in with a shotty. Oh, good defensive Rockets there. I mean, I know he's playing the play style of Jump on the Bastard, but that's getting a little bit ridiculous there. Yeah, I think... You can't be jumping in like this into an LG fight, you know, you just get evaporated from the air. I think we could see a bit of tilt coming. Um, as I say that, a great push with rockets. What a great first rocket there. And, you know, a minute, over a minute and a half left. This is where he needs to grab this red and kill Ara Lucky. And do that oh, another four times. A great turret though. Like, he can't even walk in. I thought, I don't know why, I thought he was Ranger for a second, but he could just, but he's Death Knight. Great rocket! Oh, the fireball just oh. misses. Oh. But the, the, um, the, oh, I can't speak. Use your words, Madonna, use your words. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, beautiful LG comes out. I, I think, I think we're know, seeing Redo giving up. I think yeah. he's given up now. Yeah, definitely a bit of tilt rushing. Um, not even going to go for the Mega. Great defensive rockers. And now I like you can just do this all day. 
Even if he dies, he yeah, doesn't matter. Just, don't want to take away from our ally here. Like the shots he's hitting is a, is fantastic. His positioning has been very much on point. It has. I've, I think yeah. we're focusing a little bit too much on the mistakes of Redoxide and not as much on the really good plays that Lucky's been yeah. pulling off. It's easy to be negative. You don't ever hear the positives as often. And that Tobias placement there, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> Drive by MG. And what's Redoxide going to do now? He's going to pick up a Mega after receiving a rocket. And that is it. That That's yeah, a 3 is. niller, isn't it? That two, how many 3 nils? Oh, just two. Because me and Billy know how Luck. to give the fans what they want. Like these others, Luck. these other chumps. I thought, I thought you just played that way so that I could get to my hotel room, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, both. I please the viewers <laughs> and the casters. That was...